Hello, I'm Dr. Zaldi Tan, Medical Director of the Yona Govich Center for Alzheimer's Disease and Memory Disorders at Cedar sinai Being hospitalized creates many positive and negative feelings for us. It can represent birth, life, and healing, as well as the relief from pain and injury. It may also mean getting life-saving care that we need. However, at times, it can also mean death and loss, as well as setbacks and unexpected complications. But being hospitalized can be particularly scary for a person living with dementia. People living with dementia struggle more than most because hospitals can be big and unfamiliar places. They may not recognize the people coming into their rooms. They might become overwhelmed and frightened. People with dementia may face unique challenges during their hospital stay. These include short-term memory challenges. For example, when a nurse says, I'll be back in 30 minutes to give you the medicine, they may forget what the nurse said and get upset because they don't have their medicines yet. Long-term memory challenges. They may not know why they are in the hospital or what medications they take. They may say, I don't have high blood pressure. I don't need that medicine. Comprehension challenges. The person with dementia can struggle understanding complex treatment choices, like whether or not to undergo surgery. Orientation challenges. Persons with dementia may not know where they are or where their loved ones are. Once hospitalized, patients with dementia are at risk for other health issues. For example, many older adults in the hospital get delirium. Delirium is a passing state of confusion which will go away for most people. People with delirium get distracted easily and forget what they are doing and why they are in the hospital. Persons with dementia who get delirium can become even more disoriented, agitated, or aggressive than usual. They are also at higher risk for falls and injury. As a result, they may need physical restraints to keep them safe and medication to control their behavior. Due to all these risk factors, dementia patients tend to stay longer in the hospital and are more likely to need readmission. Given these risks, how do you decide if a hospital stay is the right choice? First, make sure that the goals of care are consistent with hospitalization. For example, prolonging life even at the risk of pain or complications, promoting function and quality of life, or ensuring comfort. Second, Think about other choices to hospitalization, primary care or specialist outpatient visit, virtual home visit, home health services, or hospital at home. Here's a list of what you can do to help make your loved one's hospital stay better. Be present while you are there. Write down your name, relationship, and the best way to reach you. You can add your information to the whiteboard in the room, give a copy to the nurse, or leave a copy in the room. Make sure your information is listed in your loved one's phone if they have one. Visit often and stay for as long as you can, especially during critical periods, such as during the emergency room evaluation, during hospital admission, daily doctors and nurses rounds, or therapy evaluations and procedures with physical therapy, occupational therapy, or speech therapy. Have family members and friends take turns visiting. Avoid late nights and very early morning visits so they can rest. Here are a few more things to remember when your loved one is hospitalized. Remind your loved one often of why they are in the hospital. Bring familiar items from home, such as pictures or a favorite blanket. Ask the physician or nurse questions about medications being given, procedures being planned, prognosis, and when they might be released. Get the home ready to meet your loved one's needs before they leave the hospital. For example, more hours and higher levels of caregiving might be needed. The home may need to be retrofitted, such as stairs, doorways, and bathrooms. It's a good time to visit skilled nursing facilities, rehab centers, and talk to home caregivers. We have covered a lot of ground, so here are five key takeaways to remember. One, avoid unnecessary hospitalizations whenever you can. Consider alternatives to the hospital. Review goals of care to make sure that hospitalizations are consistent with these. Two, be present. Visit often, stay longer, always be there for them. Three, 
ask questions, and keep the hospital staff informed. Four, work with the hospital team to get the patient home as soon as you can. And finally, get ready for post-discharge challenges.